Hi, you cool cats. Katrin here, the Sax Habit Coach, bringing you the best tips, tools, and ideas to help you as a beginner saxophone player develop the practice habits and routines to master your saxophone faster. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video on a Tuesday or on a Thursday or my covers, which I post randomly. All right. So today is less about practice habits and more on the tech side of things. So today I'm going to show you how you can sync your saxophone recording with your videos so that you can post them on your various social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, etc. Now for this, we are going to use the editing software called Filmora. Nine, I tend to use this software because it's very easy to use, very intuitive. And if you are a beginner or you're new to editing videos, making videos to post online, this is a very simple and easy software that you can use to get the job done. It has everything that you need in there. Now you can also download it for free and try it out before you spend any money to purchase the software. All right, so let's jump over to my computer and we have already opened this. And so I'm going to click new project and we're going to click widescreen because I'm doing this for YouTube. And then I'm going to import my files. Now you can go up here to file and then you can import your media from here, but I don't like to do it that way. It's the long way. I like to do it the short way. So my files that I need are right here which is this piece of video here and also this audio track. And what I'm going to do is go back over to Filmora and I'm just going to drag these two pieces in. Okay. The second step I'm going to take is I'm going to save this project. So save project as, and this is sax video and audio sync. Okay, and I'm saving that to my desktop in my folder right here. Save. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then I'm going to drag my video file on the timeline, match media. And then I'm also going to drag my audio below that. So if I should play this as is. Notice that is out of sync. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is to lock my video track. So I go to the left here in this timeline and I click lock. So nothing will move right here. Okay. And then what I am seeking to do is to line up these waveforms or spikes with the ones in the top video so that both of them are playing and sounding the same. And then we're going to mute the audio from the video. So what I like to do is to place my playhead to the left somewhere here. And then I left click my audio and I drag it to the left, but we want to go some more. So let me move the playhead back to the left some more. And I'm going to drag this to the left. Still want to go a little more and I drag it to the left, but it's still not lined up. So let's go a little more. Oh, too far. Okay. And then I can use the playhead. I place the playhead right where both of these waveforms are. And I can right left click and stretch that out to see if it's all lined up because we're using our visuals. Okay. It looks pretty lined up. Let's play it to hear if they are in sync. Right, so that's it. It's already synced up. So the next step is to unlock this top track, place my playhead right about here. And then we're going to select both of these, the video track and the audio track. So left click video, then control or command, depending on what device you're using, left click your audio. Then we're going to go to the scissors here, cut left click the piece to the left of the cut, control or command, 
left click your audio then i'm going to hit delete good now we only have those and then i'm going to command or control and click all so it selects both tracks and i'm going to left click and drag those to the beginning of my timeline you can hit stop and it will take the playhead there okay but now i don't want the audio in the video to play i want the mixed audio that i have on the bottom timeline right here so i just right click on my video and then i go to mute and that's muted and then here we go And it's as simple as that, okay? And then I could left click and drag this to the left to make this smaller. And I could left click that, align that, command or control and A, all. And then I could just bring that in a little and then go to uh, sample colors here if I want to fade out to black. And I put a little piece of black there so that when the video is completed, Good, and that's that. And then file, save. And then you can just go to export if you're using Filmora, create video. And you name the video and then you export it from there to whatever folder you want. Now I'm not going to export this because it's not necessary for me to do i just wanted to show you how to sync your video and your audio now if you are a beginner as it relates to mixing your saxophone audio with video and you don't know how to mix your recordings or to make them better i have a free course you can click in the description below there's a free course where i show you how to use a free piece of software to mix your saxophone music to enhance the sound so that when you post it on YouTube or Facebook or wherever, you are sounding very good on your saxophone. As always, guys, peace out.